Okay, so in today's video, I'll be teaching you how I was able to achieve this amazing Mesichungo's birthday flyer design using just my smartphone. We are seeing this is very beautiful. I achieved this with my smartphone. So make sure you stick with me to the end of this video so you learn how I was able to achieve that. Let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is to open our Pixel Lab. This is my Pixel Lab here. So when you open it, this is the default of your Pixel Lab. The first thing I'm going to do is to click on this AI icon and delete this new test. Then the next thing I'm going to click on this three dot on the top right hand here. When you click on that three dots, click on image size. Then this width, we're going to change it to 1060. Then click OK. So this is what we have. Then I'll click on the background icon, click on color. Click on color on the top. Scroll by the right. I'll just select white. Mark this good sign. The next now, click on this center icon. Click on import. Let me bring in the design so that we'll be looking at it and be very fast. Okay. Okay. So this is the design here. Yes. So be fast now. The next I'm going to do is to click on import and then bring in my background. Okay. Let's locate the background. So this is the background we are using. I'm going to bring in this background. Increase it like this. Okay. Increase it from here. Position it to cover everywhere like this. Okay. Good. Then click on to back. Click on this icon below the three dots and lock it. Lock the background to avoid it moving. Then click on that same icon and go back. Good. The next thing I'm going to do now is to bring in the celebrant picture. So I'm going to click on import and bring in Mercy Junior's picture. Okay. So I'm going to go scroll about this unnecessary white space. Mark this good sign. So this is the picture we are using. I'm going to increase it. Bring it here. And increase it more. Now, when you increase the um the size of a picture in Pixel Lab, it tends to reduce the quality of that picture. Yes, you need to understand that. So I'm going to bring this here. Then I'm going to copy it. Then delete the old one. The one I copy is the one I'll be using. Okay, so I'm going to position it like this. Good. Click on this icon below the three dots and lock it. So I'm going to click on import again and bring in this con picture. So this is it. I'm going to crop out this unnecessary white spaces. Okay. Good. Bring it in here. Okay. So I'm going to increase this. Then you can see that a part of this clothes, the first picture, was actually cut out. So we're just going to use this to place this here. Yes, we'll use it and also cover it. So we are seeing it. Let me just copy this and delete this old one. Then place it here. Okay, perfect. You're looking at this to front. So I'm going to place this here. We are seeing it good. Then go ahead and lock it too. The next thing I'm going to do now is to blend in this down part. Okay, so I'm going to click on shape, go down, click on gradient, scroll by the right, select this default white and black. Then click on this plus icon, select this white side, then click here. Then drag this last line to the end to make it transparent. Then click OK, click OK. Mark this good sign. So this is what we have. We're going to rotate it like this. Okay, then drag it. Bring it down here. Now I'm going to choose the color I want. Scroll by the right, go to color, enable it. I want to pick the color from her face. Watch as what I'm going to do. I'll click on this plus icon. Click on this picture icon here. Select a picture. Then from her face. Okay. I think I like this color. Then mark this good sign. This. Hope you are seeing it. I was able to select it. Mark this good sign. Then I'm going to copy it. Then bring it down here. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and lock the shadows. So this is what we have. I'm going to click on import. Bring in this flower. Mark this good sign. So I'm just going to rotate it like this. Bring it down here. Okay, bring it down here. Copy it again. Rotate it. I want that red part to be sure. I don't want the yellow part that much. Okay, this is the part I want. I'm going to bring this in here. 
okay then go ahead and lock the flowers too to avoid them moving okay yes because as they move they'll be interrupting your design i'll click on import and bring in the last picture so this is it here crop out this part mark this good sign so i'm going to increase this copy it delete this old one then bring this here then we're going to click on this icon below the three dots press hold this picture and drag it to the to the end and um, to the back of the first two pictures that we brought in okay then click here and go back okay then i'm going to go to opacity and reduce opacity of that picture very well let me bring it out a bit okay so i'm using let me just use 10 okay i'm using 10 and I'm going to click here and lock it too. Good. So the next thing I'm going to do now is click on my A icon, click on test, click on edit, and then I'll write in happy birthday. Okay. The birthday will be down like this. Okay, I'm going to bring it in here, increase it. Now, when it comes to your design, you need to know how to blend your background very well and also the kind of font to use for your design. So, I'm going to go to color. I'll be using black. Remember that the default color in your Pixel Lab is not black. So, I will select black. Mark this use. Imagine you using this font like this. Your design will not make sense, okay? So, I'm going to go to my font now. Okay, go to recent. I'm using this Eastman Roman, okay? Yes, we got the Eastman Roman Trial Medium. That's the one I'm using. I'm going to select, click OK. Then I'll go to Style and Bold it. If you have seen it, it will be more bold. I'm going to mark this good sign. So bring it in here. Scroll by the right, I'll go to Spacing. I'll space it out a bit. Okay, so let's leave it at 5. Mark this good sign. Then I'll click on my test, click on Edit, and write Mercy to one. Okay, message you will then click OK, bring it down here. Scroll by the right. I'll go to font. Let me select the font I want to use. Mm, I can't remember. What's the name of the font I even used again? Okay, let's check. Let me go to my font. Let's search for it. Okay, so this is the font I'm using here. This is the font. Yes, this one here. That's there with R. Okay, I'm going to click OK. is it mm, that's not it actually let's go back again okay that's font but um, i think another version of it that's what i actually used let's go let's go let's go mm, i can't remember the exact font i used but then we'll go with any one that is okay mm. yeah, let's try this one don't like it just check and get a good font i think i'll be using this one this chigero you can actually download any of this font from the phone check out my video on youtube on how to download font into your pixel app okay so i'm gonna click okay then i'll go to color and select black then place this here okay place this here. now click here click on shape go down Reduce the opacity. Okay, let's leave it at 30. Then I'm going to drag this up like this. Bring it down here. Reduce it more. Mark this good sign. Then I'm going to use my hand and position it at the center like this. Okay. So I'm going to copy that message. You click on it. Click on my A icon. Copy. Edit and write blessed. Okay. So make sure you stick with me. I'll also be teaching you how you can edit this design and make it to pop. Looks so beautiful that no matter what, the quality cannot be reduced. Okay. Okay. So this is it here. I'm going to click on it, then go to color. And then I'm going to be using red. Okay. So that's okay by me. 
the next the next and the final thing i think is click here click on import okay let's bring in this okay we'll be using it to write the date i'm going to reduce it reduce it then i'm going to bring it in here okay let me reduce it more you can go to color filter and and said to change the color a bit just a bit just a bit let's see okay okay this is okay increase the contrast good so the hue is minus then the contrast is 10 mark this good sign so i'm going to click on my i can click on test click on it they're right in the date that's um fifth september 2024 click okay i'm going to bring it down here scroll by the right go to color i'm going to select white i'm going to reduce this bring it here okay so make sure you watch this video to the end yes because i'll be teaching you how i edit my designs to make it stand out yes okay i'm let me i'm going to choose another font let me use nether heavy for this okay i use different apps for my editing three different apps yes but i'll be teaching you how to use one in this video and your design will still stand out okay okay that's the date there make sure it's positioned well at the center of this circle shape okay it's very 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 important to pay attention to all these details okay very important okay the last and final thing before we go i'm gonna click on test click edit and type in mercy okay just gonna increase it then go to color select white mark this good sign go to opacity and reduce the opacity okay not let's see go to font i'll be using this font i'm using this autograph personal okay i'm gonna click this let me reduce this okay so i'm gonna drag this mercy to the back click on this icon below the thread or drag it to the back a bit yes let's go in the back of the pictures good hope you are seeing it let's turn it like this then copy it bring it here then go to opacity reduce the opacity we are seeing it yes then bring it down so way let's reduce it more okay i think that's okay Use the relative position, make sure it's at the center. Okay, then go ahead and lock it. Lock the other one too. Good. Okay, perfect, perfect. Yes, and this we are done with our design. So we're going to be editing this now to make this design come out very 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 beautiful i believe i've been getting value in this video please make sure you subscribe like share this video and do well to comment please thank you so much let's save this and edit it remember to save as project in case you want to make any correction in your design you can be able to do that and also remember to save as image okay i like using ultra okay then save to gallery now for us to edit our design, you'll be making use of this app, Snapseed. This is the app, you can download it from Play Store. So this is the one I actually did before, see the before. That's when you, um, after designing this in Pixel app, then see the after, after I finish editing it. So let's do this. Click on open. Let's bring in, oh, sorry. We actually did not remove the, the picture we are looking at. So I'm just going to pause this video. I'm just going to remove this one okay and then save it again so i finished doing that let me go ahead and bring it in now okay so this is the design we finished in our pixel lab let's edit it i'm going to click on tools click on details come to structure increase the structure like this come to sharpening increase the sharpening hope you are seeing it 
is coming out. Mark this good sign. See the before. See the after. We are not done yet. You're going to click on tools. Click on tonal contrast. Good. And it will give you this. Normally for me, I don't like adjusting so much things in this my tonal contract. But with but with this particular design, I'm okay the way it is now. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and mark this good sign. See before. See after. I hope you have seen how the design is coming out. I've come out so much well. So to go ahead and save your work, click on export. Click on save and it will be saved to your gallery. Please go ahead and subscribe. Like this video. Share it. Comment. And of course, I will see you in my next video. Bye.